Okay, welcome back to our next video at our video series on medical terminology. In this video, we'll cover chapter number three, understanding prefixes. All right, first off, our learning objectives for this video and this chapter. Uh, number one, define and spell the prefixes commonly used in medical terminology. Uh, number two, identify prefixes in medical terms. And lastly, uh, use prefixes to build medical terms. All right, we'll go over some uh, very commonly used uh, prefixes. Again, it's like we covered in our uh, last video on chapter number two. It'd be near impossible to go over every single possible prefix that's out there. But the ones we'll cover in this video and this chapter are very, very commonly used. Ones you'll see you know, fairly often. The first one, A. This means uh, without. Sometimes it'll be A or A-N. An. So an anaerobic, without oxygen, for example. Uh, next one, ab. This means away from. So the joint movement abduction is being moved away from the body's midline. So ab means away. Bi means to. Endo means inside. Hyper means higher than normal or above. So if you have a hyperactive child, they have a lot more energy than a normal child. If you have hypertension, your blood pressure is higher than what it should be. And the opposite of that is hypo. Hypo means below or lower than. So if you are hypoglycemic, you have a low you have a low amount of blood sugar. A hypodermic needle goes below the dermis. The intra is commonly confused with uh, inter, and we'll talk about that a little bit later on. But intra means within. So intracellular fluid is fluid that's found within a cell. Uh, post this means after. Uh, pre means before. So if you've ever had a surgical procedure, you usually have some type of screening that's going to be preoperatively, so before the surgery. Then you recover postoperatively or post-op. And then sub means below. Think of a submarine going below the surface of the water. So anti means against. And we'll talk about that term again a little more in a second. A, we talked about a second ago, means without. Con means together or with. A contra means opposite or against. Body parts that are contralateral or on opposite sides of the body, such as your right arm and left leg. They're opposite sides of your body. They are contralateral. A meta means beyond. So going back to our prefix ante, if you were to add that to the root word bio and add the suffix of ick, anti means against. Bio means life, then ick means pertaining to. So you add all those together, you get antibiotic. So prefix, root word, and then suffix. Another good example of a constructed medical term. So these are drugs that will fight against the life, usually of a uh, bacteria, for example. Our prefixes that indicate number or quantity. Ambi means uh, both sides. So someone who is ambidextrous can use both hands with equal strength. They can write left-handed or right-handed. They are ambidextrous. Bi and di, they both mean two. So a, a disaccharide means two sugar units. The next one, DIPL, dipole, also means two. So if you're talking about the number of chromosomes, for example, a diploid cell will have two sets or two sets of chromosomes. Hemi means half. Think of a a hemisphere, say on a globe, for example, northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere, or a hemisphere of the uh, the brain. You have left brain and right brain. But mono is always referenced to one. Multi means many or more than one. Nulli or nulli means none or zero. Pan means all, such as a, a pandemic is a disease that has spread throughout the entire world. And poly means many. And focusing on that prefix, if you add that to the root word arterio, then add the suffix itis. Of course, poly means many, arterio means artery, itis means inflammation. So add all those three together, you get polyarteritis. So inflammation of many arteries all at the same time. All right, some other prefixes that indicate quantity or number. Primi or primi means one. Think of primary. Primary means the first. A quadri means four. A quadriplegic has someone who is someone who has paralysis in four limbs. So quad means four. Tetra also means four. See, semi means half. A semicircle is a half of a circle. Tri means three. Think of a, a tricycle has three wheels. 
and uni means one. So a unicycle would have one wheel. All right, prefixes that indicate location or timing. See ab, one we talked about before, moving away from. Then ad, ad, moving towards. It's very common to get those two prefixes uh, confused with one another, especially when you're talking about joint movements, abduction and adduction. You know, abduction, going away from the midline of the body. Adduction, going toward the midline of the body. See, ana means either apart or up or backward. So if you're talking about uh, cell division, for example, the phase anaphase is where the chromosomes will move apart from one another. They move away from one another. Anti means before. So if you're talking about in medical terms, your your upper arm is your brachium. Your forearm is the antibrachium. And to use a real-world example, if you are playing uh, poker, for example, the bet that you make before the cards are dealt is called the ante. That's why you need to ante up. You are betting before everything starts. Then pre uh, means before. See, dia means uh, complete or through. Think of a, a diameter in the geometry, for example. It goes all the way through a figure. Dis means to separate. So think of uh, dissection. When you're dissecting a specimen, you are taking it apart. Uh, EC or, or ecto both mean uh, outside. And the opposite of that would be endo, which means inside. An example of that would be a, an endogastric procedure. We use an endoscope. It's going inside the stomach. Now, endo means inside. Gastric means the stomach. So inside the stomach. And endoscope. The scope is a tool used for viewing. So you're using a this tool to view inside the stomach. See, ep or epi means above. The one we mentioned before, epidermis, is the level of skin above the dermis. The eso means inward. Over this, you can think of, uh, of your esophagus. Eso means to go inward. Phago or phagus means to, to eat or to swallow. So the term esophagus literally means the tube that it goes inside that enables you to swallow. X or XO both mean away from. See, an extra means outside. Anything that's extracellular would be outside of a cell. Infer means below. So think of inferior. That's below another body part. The next two are often confused with one another. Uh, inter and intra. Inter means between. So think of an interstate highway. That's a highway that goes between states. It's a fluid that is intercellular is found between cells. Now compare that to intra. Intra means within. So fluid that is intracellular is found within a cell, inside a cell. So inter, between, intra, within. And then para, a nearby or alongside. You'll see this prefix a lot when we talk about uh, hormones and endocrine system. Some hormones act on just the secreting cell and the cells nearby it, right around that. Those are called paracrine secretions because they act, they focus on local cells. So para means nearby or alongside. Uh, the prefix peri means uh, surrounding. So think of the uh, perimeter of your home as the outside border of your home. Uh, post means after. Pre means before. Uh, sub and hypo both mean below or, or lower than. So the hypodermis is the level of skin below the dermis, hypodermis. Super and supra are related, but they are different. Super means above or beyond, and supra means above and then upper. So they are closely related, but they don't mean exactly the same thing. And the last two on here is sim and sin. They both mean either together or with. All right, here's a standard image of the various layers of the skin. You have the epidermis, dermis, and the subcutaneous layer, also called a hypodermis. So we're starting with the root word of dermis, we talked about in a previous video. You had the word, or the prefix epi to it, epidermis, the layer of skin above this layer. So it's the layer of skin that we see with our eyes. The layer below that, uh, subcutaneous, or the hypodermis. Sub means lower than, or below. Cutaneous is another reference for the word skin. So below the skin. All right, prefixes that indicate a specific quality about a term. A and an both mean without or lacking. Brady means slow. Someone who has bradycardia has a slow heart rate. The prefix circum means around, such as moving around in a circle. Dis means painful. The prefix u, u means true or good. 
animal and plant cells are what are called eukaryotic. Carry is a reference to the nucleus, so we have a true nucleus because we're more advanced. Uh, bacteria are known as prokaryotic because they are before a true nucleus was formed. And the last two on here, heter or hetero, it means different. A heterosexual couple is a man and a woman, two different sexes. See, hyper means above, and hypo means below. So a hyperactive child has more energy than normal. A hypo would mean less than. Macro means large. Mal means uh, bad. Mega or megalo means large. Micro, this would be the opposite of macro. Micro would mean small. To think of a microscope, it's a tool that is used to view things that are really, really small. So a microscope. Neo means new, such as a, a neonatal unit would have newborn babies. A pseudo means false or fake. A tacky means uh, rapid, and we'll talk more about that term in a second. A trans means across. You'll see the term come up when we talk about uh, the chemical uh, composition of, of compounds. And ultra will mean beyond or in excess of. Ultraviolet light is light that is beyond uh, violet in the color spectrum. I will talk a little bit more about the prefix tacky. If we were to add that to the root word cardio, and also add the suffix ia. Of course, tacky means rapid. Cardio is reference to the heart. And ia is a condition of. Add those three together, you get tachycardia. The condition of having a rapid heartbeat, which would be the exact opposite of bradycardia, which would mean having a very slow heart rate. Right, here's an image of an ultrasound imaging, something that's very non-invasive, very commonly used uh, when a woman is pregnant. It's used to reveal the internal structures of the developing fetus, and to make sure everything is going you know, as well as it should. And again, it's using sound waves, but because it is ultrasound, ultra means beyond or in excess of, is a frequency that we can't hear within our range of hearing. I will end this chapter and end this video with our uh, matching quiz. The five prefixes on the right, peri, anti, dis, dia, or para, and they'll match up to either the words through, around, apart, alongside, or before. So the first one, peri, would mean around or surrounding. Anti means before. Dis means apart or, or to separate, like in uh, dissection. Dia means through. And then para means alongside. So here are all the answers to this uh, short prefix quiz. And again, it's like we talked about in our, our previous videos. It's going to be almost impossible to list every single possible prefix that exists or every single suffix that exists. But the ones that we covered in this video are going to be very commonly seen in a normal medical practice. All right, that brings us to the end of chapter number three. We will continue our video series with our next video on chapter number four.